in June discover the home of the Alexandrian parakeet. Monuments like the Qutub Minar in Meroli have crevices for nesting birds, especially parakeets. The largest of the kind in the city is the Alexandrian parakeet. The birds were heavily traded to be kept as pets, and today they are listed as a near threatened species by the International Union of the Conservation of Nature. It is named after Alexander the Great, who exported several to Europe, where it was considered a sign of nobility. The elegant bird has a crimson patch on its shoulders, a unique identification mark. In July, spot the cinnamon bittern. The onset of wet weather in the city is greeted by the arrival of an elusive bird called the cinnamon bittern or the chestnut bittern. The bittern is fairly big and is a cinnamon colored bird. Okla Bird Sanctuary in Noida is perhaps one of the richest wetland reed habitats in Delhi NCR. In July, August, you may often see these beautiful birds shying away in reeds or flying from one patch to another. August is a good time to watch the common mormon. The Butterfly Park at Asola Bharti Wildlife Sanctuary plays host to a variety of butterflies at this time. Most belonging to the family of swallow tails are large and brilliantly colored with a tailed hind wing. Common Mormons are predominantly black with white markings on males and females displaying some red on the hind wing. In the month of September, count the colors of Indian Pita. Commonly known as the Navarang in Hindi, the Indian pita has nine colors. It nests on trees in Bonsi Nature Park in Bonsi, Gurugram. The birds are shy, but when they start to pair on arrival from southern India, they are vocal and recognize a zebra blue in October. A small, fast and jittery butterfly from the family of blues the largest family consisting of over 6,000 species of butterflies. The butterfly has orange spots on the head-like tail to confuse predators. It is seen on ornamental plumbago flowers at the Hosrani city forest in Saket. November is a good time to enter the reforested zone, the Yamuna Biodiversity Park in Wazirabad. It is located on the Yamuna riverfront and has been developed by the DDA and scientists of the University of Delhi into a haven for birds. Several migratory ducks from the Europe and other parts of Asia, like the common poachard, come in winter to the wetlands. A diving or dabbling duck, fish, molluscus and aquatic plants are its primary source of food. In December, make sure to visit the wetland. Sultanpur National Park in Sultanpur village, Gurugram, was first declared a bird sanctuary in 1972 when Peter Jackson, a prominent British ornithologist, approached the then Prime Minister Indira Gandhi for the need to protect the place for its avifauna brilliance. Later, in 1983, it was upgraded to a national park. Before concretization and the construction of drainage, the area was naturally waterlogged. Though this is now artificially maintained, it still attracts thousands of migratory birds like the brown goose, the common teal, the northern shoveler that flock together and spend this winter in the rich habitat. 